Guys, it's beer o'clock on Ginger Beer Beer Review. Today we are brew. Beer, beer, beer. <laughs> Guys, it's beer o'clock on Ginger Beer Beer Review. Today we are reviewing another beer from Brewdog in Scotland. It is their Mallow Laser Quest Marshmallow and Pineapple Hazy IPA. Mm -mm, coming in at 6% in a 440ml tin. Great looking tin, I love the design on this one uh, with the big wording down the side and the, the colours as well. I think they go really well, really striking on this tin. Brewdog have really stepped up their tin design. Forget the beer for a minute, their tin design has got really good. Um, I don't know if anybody knew is on the case or what, but since the days of Elvis Juice and and oh, what was the other one? Um, oh, I can't think what the other one was called. They they've really sort of stepped up, and they're really funky and fresh and everything. So I like that. I like it a lot. So a six percent, four hundred and forty mil tin, as you can see, purple and yellow design on the silver. It's a marshmallow and pineapple, pineapple to go in your macrowavi. Uh, pineapple, marshmallow, hazy, IPA. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Marshmallow. You always think that marshmallow is going to be in something like a stout or a porter. Um, so I'm interested to see what this is like in a lighter beer. 6% should be good. Let's get it out of the tin, into the glass, see what it's like. Right, there you go, cool. And straight away, I am getting massive hits of pineapple on this beer. Really, really big pineapple punches coming out of this. So the body, we have got, if I can get my fat fingers out of the way, we've got a nice hazy orange uh, body to it. We've got a generous one finger, quite tight formed, really fluffy um, head with something in the beer. How was that? Yeah. Um, right, so, yeah, tight, tight formed head. Um, actually, I think it was just in the glass. Uh, yeah, looking good. Tight formed. Come on, come on, come on, get it together. What am I doing? Do you know what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Fluffy, floaty, white head, looks good. Right, fine, we've done that bit. I think we've killed, killed the arse out of it, really. And I've got the last bit into the glass. And I've poured it properly, which makes a change. If you've watched some of the last videos, I don't know what's happened in my pouring, but I seem to have absolutely annihilated pouring a good beer. Um, perhaps I need to practice more, drink more, that might be the idea. Right, nice, hazy, thick body, a one finger tight formed white head, and here we go. Right, aroma. Hey. Straight away, there is masses, masses of pineapple in this one. Really, really strong pineapple. There's a little bit of creamy lactose there as well, just on the back end of it. But that super duper pineapple is right the way through it on the aroma. That smells good, good. Uh, right, let's see what it's like on the taste then. Cheers, everybody. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh my! What have you done? I. Pineapple. Pineapple to begin with. Like I said on the aroma. It's got a great hit of pineapple, but, but, that soon gives way to, to marshmallow, massive marshmallow. Oh, 
let me just have a few seconds to savour this taste. Lot of boring math later. Oh, that is nice. There is marshmallow coming belting through on that. The pineapple gives out very, very easily. It waves the white flag and marshmallow takes over all the way through. It is nice and creamy. It's got the sort of melted marshmallow over a fire taste to it. It's got the sweetness, but the sweetness isn't just a, a fake sweetness. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's got some sweetener, but that's lovely. The marshmallow just finishes it off really well. It's not overly sweet at all. It's got some nice yummy sweetness. Oh, that is good. The, the hop, the hop content on it is not overly powering. You don't get a lot of hops on it. Um, but that is a cracking, cracking beer. Oh, 6%. I could drink a few. Really nice. I like that. I like it. Top work. I'm going to have to put it down. Brewdog, I give you that double thumbs up and a ginger beer double salute. That is excellent. What a cracking beer that is. Really, really different, really good. Brewdog have definitely stepped up their game recently. Uh, this is another one from the shelf of Morrison's supermarket. So it's easily got, what a game changer. They're, they are really pushing some of their beers. And they're not just chucking beers on the shelf that they've got to do at a budget price. They're putting some cracking beers out there. There's been some great porters, some stouts. And now again, with the weather changing, there's some great sort of IPAs, hazy IPAs coming out there. Um, fantastic. I like that a lot. I really do, really do. Uh, this one was given to me by a friend of mine, John. So thank you very much, John, mate. Superb. Yes. I like, I like. Um, I might be getting a few more of those, I think. Very good, very good. Guys, as usual, please, please, if you've got a friend who's into their beers, then please share the hell out of this video, as I always say. There's far too many beers to be drinking alone. So make sure you share the hell out of the video. Make sure you like and share also my Facebook page under Ginger Beer Beer Review. Uh, and also, you've obviously found my YouTube channel because you're watching this video now. Scroll down, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comments box below. And while you're there, make sure, make sure you click on the subscribe button. And while you're there, click on the bell as well. It will notify you every time I post something fresh like this beer. Easy as that. You could have had that done while you are watching it. It's so easy to do. Make sure you do. Guys, thank you very much as usual. Uh, and I think that's about it for today. So from me and this whopping double tip-top-tastic thumbs up, double salute. That's the wrong one. That's the one I reviewed just now, which meh, wasn't that good. You'll have to watch that review if you haven't. To this one. Excellent. Excellente. Oh, don't know what happened there, guys. Sudden freeze. I think the battery needs charging. Anyway, cheers, guys, and I'll see you all soon.